Hey travelers, welcome back to another video. Today, there's Kelly, Noah, and I will be exploring the Sioux Line Railroad. I'm finally back. <laughs> which this marks the very last video to my St. Croix River series. So I hope you guys enjoy the last video, but don't worry, a new series will be coming in 2022, but I'm not gonna tell you just yet because it is a little secret. I'm super excited to share them. The bridge was built on June 1st, 1911. Two days later, the first train crossed the bridge. To this day, four trains cross that bridge daily. The trail that brings it down to the river follows a old road that used to lead to cabins. The bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1977. Experts have called the High Bridge the most spectacular multi Spain steel arch bridge in the world, while others have compared the bridge's steel work to the Eiffel Tower in France. There have been reports of deaths and near death experiences at the bridge. Here are some of their stories. A former guitarist from a Minnesota-based metal band formerly known as Justin Lowe was found at the bottom of the bridge. His cause of death was due to falling, and he was only 32 years old. August 8, 2008, a 20-year-old girl and a friend of hers went to the bridge. Her friend reported that she stepped in a hole and disappeared. She fell about 150 to 180 feet and landed on the Iceland below the bridge. August 29, 2008, a young man died in the hospital after swinging from a rope that was tied to the bridge. His cause of death was from a head injury that was caused from falling into the river below. In January 2016, a train engineer reported almost hitting two girls who were walking along the train tracks two miles down the track. He finally came to a full stop. He got out of the train and headed towards where the, he spotted the girls to make sure he did not hit any of them. When he finally got to the spot, the girls were gone. Due to the deaths, near deaths, and injuries caused by the bridge, law enforcement had set patrols, video cameras, and motion sensors. Anyone who walks on the railroad and out onto the bridge is at risk for a trespassing fine up to $500.
The links for where I got all my information will be in the description. So this is the end of today's video. Sadly, for this video, we didn't do everything that we wanted to. We went to lunch before this park. If you guys want to see what we did for went for food, check out my vlog from today. The link will be in the description. So we are heading to the car now. Um, we will be back next year, 2022, to come back to this park and explore the rest of the bridge. So thanks guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope you guys enjoyed the St. Croix River Hidden Gem series. And with that, we will see you in the next one.